Welcome back to my channel. It's Rosie S. How are you guys doing? Okay, today is, what's today? Today is April, April 29th. We're almost to May. Oh, hallelujah. No, I don't want to wish my life away. I just want, I would like for life to go on as we know it, or as we knew it <clears throat> with the pandemic. Sorry, let me put on my little lipstick. You know what? I really hate this. Oh my God. I am so sorry. I hate when people do that on TV. Not on TV, on YouTube and on TV. So I apologize, please. I really do apologize. Okay, let's get to Jennifer Williams. She was on, I don't know if she is still on Basketball Wives. I don't know. But with all this controversy, I can see a storyline. That being said, what are my thoughts? So apparently... This is from what I extrapolated from all the various websites and everything from Michelle E.T. Alien to The Breakfast Club to, you know, all of these, I think, Funky Donny, but like a host of people are talking about it. So why don't I just, we ain't got nothing else to do. Why don't I just dig in too? Anyway, so apparently she met someone... See, this is what I, okay, apparently she met this guy at a hotel, they got together, allegedly, this is all allegedly, um, she lived in New York, no, she didn't live in New York, she was in LA, I don't know if they were in LA or in Atlanta, anyway, met a guy, you know, they got together, whatever, they had a relationship for a year. See, now, I don't know if they really had a relationship. I don't know if they just hooked up. I don't know if they were talking. It, I don't know if it was committed. I don't know if it was an open relationship, blah, blah, blah. But apparently, he, you know, did for her. She did for him. This is one year. This is what I have a question with. Okay. So, let me get, I'll get to my question. So, apparently, she <laughs> moved from L.A. to Atlanta. That I'm not even... I'm not even going to go there. For him, I, I, whatever. And so in the process, she was closing. And I guess she had to get back to L.A. to get her other car because she has a Range Rover and a Ferrari or a Lamborghini or some high-priced high car that, you know, whatever. Um, so she left the Range Rover with oh boy. And she went back to L.A., I guess, to get the other car or whatever. I don't think that... I would drive a Lamborghini or a Ferrari or Tesla, or whatever, maybe a Tesla, but you know, like a high price car. I forgot what kind of car it was. It was, it's a, it was a luxury car. I mean, like a high class, not a Mercedes or like a Lamborghini. Ferrari. I think it was a Ferrari. I don't think she drove the Ferrari from LA to Atlanta. So I don't know why she had to leave her Range Rover with, she could have left the Range Rover at the airport parking lot anyway. So apparently he had the he has the Range Rover he had it and he never gave it back. And she wants a Range Rover back. <clears throat> so his story is, is that you know he told her she wanted to be with him and he told her that you know as they do <laughs> as y'all do you know, oh, you know, I'm not interested in relationship. Blah, blah, blah. After you guys have got us, you know, in, in your rib and we're in love or whatever, then you you bounce off with, oh, you know what? No, it's not time for me to, you know, have a relationship. I just broke up with old girl and, you know, I'm just not ready. We're going to get back to that. So he says that, you know, he told her that he has receipts. He has receipts about her talking mess about Evelyn and Shawnee, allegedly, and how Shaq has his kids, allegedly, allegedly, and how she wants to do something derogatory with Evelyn Stark. <laughs> so apparently, allegedly, he's supposed to be some, some, you know, hustler. I ain't mad at you, you know, gangster. <laughs> I also heard from a blogger on their station on the video. Someone called in and said that, oh boy, is good friends with Marla. Allegedly, oh boy got Marlo 
house. But Marlo, I think Marlo house was purchased by one of her sugar daddies, one of her rich sugar daddies. So that house is paid for. So why would he have to help her purchase a house under those CPN numbers, you know? Maybe Marlo has a new house. Is she moving into a new house? But if she's moving into a new house, she doesn't need his hookup because of that first um, townhouse or condo that she has was paid off by the white guy, or not the white, I don't know if it was white, Sugar Daddy, who I think he purchased a house for Marlo and a house for her mother. Don't quote me on that. Let's just say allegedly. Um, she could use the money for from that house to purchase another house because you know the equity and if it's paid off if she sells it or whatever so that may not be true but if marlo is moving into a new house there's another story so back to jennifer and i is his name aaron so <laughs> jennifer has been on Holly, no, not Hollywood Unlocked, but The Breakfast Club, because her and Angela are cool. I think they went to elementary school or high school together or something like that. <laughs> now listen, I have a mile long record of failed relationships, stuff that I've done that was stupid, crazy, insane or whatever that's just human nature you fall in love you know men and women and you do stupid shit but come on girl this is just <laughs> it's too many holes in this i i don't even know where to begin because she just sounds so damn dumb now give me don't get me right she's beautiful okay yeah okay whatever She's bougie. She's educated. She has money, whatever. But when it comes to relationships, and I'm not one that can talk, but I am going to talk about this. You're too old to be in this type of ruckus. You're too old. Like, I'm 50 years old. I'm, you know, too old to be doing, you know, the crazy stuff that I used to do in my 20s, 30s, and even 40 and 50. 50, you know what I'm saying? I don't think she's 50. I think she's 40 something maybe no kids so maybe you have you know i guess you can do stupid stuff or whatever you have no one to account to or you know but my goodness i mean didn't okay so first it was eric wasn't it eric that she was married to the one with the big mouth not should have stayed with him because even though he's cheating eh, i mean whatever and he threw the the water in her face whatever okay and then, I mean, I'm sure she dated, you know, other guys in between or whatever. But then we hear about the guy at the restaurant. Him and her had some issues, whatever. You know, and we all have issues. No one basically has a perfect, I mean, there may be one or two, whatever. But, you know, everybody has issues, whatever. And, you know, I, I listen, I can't, I can't throw the first stone. I can't even throw the 20th stone. I'm just, you know, okay. But then she has, the, so the, the Eric, then the guy at the restaurant, I'm, I'm not going through the ones in between or whatever, because we didn't hear about them. So you, whatever, they don't matter. Then we have this guy, Aaron or whatever. It's like, is it that you want a storyline? Do you want to fall in love? Do you want a baller? Like, what is it? Now, Duke from Detroit, and I want to move to Detroit. So, I mean, I can only say so much, but... Detroit is like a, it's not, it's, it's hustler town. You know, you got to hustle because there's hardly any jobs, you know, and the jobs that they do have doesn't seem like black people have them or can acquire them or something like that. I, I tried to say that in the most politically correct way as possible. That's another video. Um, but it just doesn't seem like, you know, you can just get by with nine to five. You got to have nine to five then hustle, then one boyfriend, two boyfriends, whatever. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I, I love Detroit. Don't get me wrong. People are really nice. I mean, like what they try to 
elude that it's you know high crime and all and it could, very well could be i didn't get mugged when i was there people were really nice it reminds me of how oakland used to be before it got gentrified but people were really nice the guys are really handsome there's a lot of men <laughs> there are a lot of men in new york a lot of black men in new york like new york i mean i'm sorry detroit and chicago chicago Ooh, there's so many my goodness and Cleveland. Cleveland has a lot of handsome men. Jesus. Okay. Um, I said all that to say, you know, like Portia's husband, he's from, or boyfriend or baby daddy or fiance, whatever he is, he's from Detroit. Like, they just move a certain way. You know, like, people, people or men from New York, they just move a certain way. I'm from the East, I mean, the West Coast. I live in Silicon Valley. We're a little more laid back, yes. You know, people have their hustle and we have to because it's so expensive. But it, it's a different type of swag, a, a different type of movement. You see what I'm saying? People from Detroit. Mm. I don't know. I've had an encounter with someone that lives in D Detroit or whatever. And, you know, I had to curse them out a couple of times or whatever. Because they just think that they can sw sway you or swing you or... I don't know. I can't put pinpointed i mean like i said there were some really nice people in detroit but they just move a little differently and i had to be like mm -mm, let me back off because whoo, 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 you don't want this i don't care if you are from detroit i'm from san francisco i lived in oakland or whatever bring it anyway all i'm saying is you got to be careful you know when people say they're from new york okay you got to treat them a certain way you have to be direct you know what I'm saying? Say what you mean. Whatever. You know, you can't slip up. Da, 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 da. You're from Detroit. Okay. You t nine times, t nine out of ten times, you're going to get hustled. That's just get from Chicago. You know what I'm saying? From Oakland, from Richmond. It's just a certain, you know, down south, you got to treat people different. You got to talk a little slower. You know, move a little. Yeah. People from Oklahoma, Tulsa, Oklahoma. It's just a different, you know, where you go is how you move. With LA, LA is a lot different from. The Bay Area, LA's, you know, like it's a lot of gang affiliation, and you know, you know, you just have to move. Just every, every state, every city has a different set, different mentality. San Jose is just everyone's kind of a little laid back, you know. We just got it going on here, even though it's very expensive, but not going on. But we don't have to really look over our shoulder as much, okay? I just don't get it, like. And Jennifer, you just look so damn stupid and dumb. I just have to say it. Not that you, I'm not saying you are, but you appear to be so damn dumb. It's like, how, huh? You gave him the keys and then, you know, he kept it. Well, how, why did it take so long? And then he's saying that he paid it off. And then you bought, you purchased, you put out a down payment for his Bentley and he put a down payment for your Ferrari. Like, y'all did that in one year? You buying him Bentleys? He's buying you Range Rovers or he's paying off your Range Rover and he's putting in a down payment on your Ferrari, whatever car you got. Like you do that in one year and he told you that he doesn't want to be committed. So why are you moving there? For what? To do what? To chase him? That's your problem. You don't chase no man. I don't know who has not told you that, okay? If he wanted you, he would have flew you out had you a house, had a ring, something, but you wanted to be in the mix. Mm -mm. Been, I've been there. Did it someone from New Orleans? That's a whole nother story. The, you know, the guys in New Orleans or whatever, they like to take care of you, whatever. They going they gonna shower you with gifts, take you all over the world. But you can guarantee they gonna have somebody on the side. That's a given. That's a given. You may not know it, but it's definitely happened. But that, and that's how some people get down. Look at Super. Not, I'm not saying that you guys are on the same level, blah, blah, blah. I'm just saying. That's how it is in New Orleans. But look at, that's how it is in Atlanta. Look at all that booty and all, whatever else, whatever. It's like 15 men to, 15 women to one man or something. So why did you move to Atlanta? Not that I care about your business. You moved to Atlanta because of him, but he told you that he was not ready. So were you going to make him be ready? Were you going to make him 
stay in a relationship? Are you doing this because he doesn't want you? Like, I mean, I don't understand. Because there's, you know, there's his side, there's your side, and then there's the truth. So what is it? But <laughs> you're in trouble. Because not only you look stupid as hell because of this. But now, Shawnee and Evelyn are going to be on you like white or fries. So, was this worth it? Allegedly, if it happened. All of this is alleged. I wasn't there. I don't know him. I don't know her. I haven't seen. Well, yes, I have seen the text. But people can make texts up. And then he didn't want to. Hold on, hold on. He didn't want to give you his real name. So you put money down for its Bentley, allegedly. He put money down on your Ferrari, whatever. He paid off your Range Rover, and you don't know his real name. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You moved from L.A. to Atlanta, and you don't know his real name. You are the dumbest bitch I have. I, but you know, we've all been dumb bitches. We all have. Like I said, I can't throw the first stone. I can't even throw the 20th stone, but I can definitely show you I won't be throwing. That last stone, no. Mm -mm. No. Now, I know that you're getting a little old, and I guess you really want to be with someone. First, you got to get yourself together, okay? Because you bad and like, mm, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get women. Who, not you in particular, but you guys just are so stupid when it comes to men. I have been too. I have been. And I may be in the future. But right now, it's today, April 29, 2020. I'm not. I'm not. You can't get in my head, nor can you get in my heart. No, you can't go any further. No. You're not. No. And No. One, two, no. No, 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 no. No. And I'm fine with that. I may have to be single for the rest of my life. And maybe when I'm 60, 70, whatever, I may fall, you know, from the ranks and be like, okay. Now, if you had an agreement, okay, you know, he does his thing, you do your thing or whatever, you know that he's not ready, whatever, blah, 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 blah. But why'd you move from LA to Atlanta for a man who don't even want you? <laughs> I don't blame him because you allowed him to do this to you. You the one, you gave him your keys. He didn't take it from you. You gave it to him. So I blame you. So whatever happens after you gave him the key, unless you have a signed copy of an agreement, that's your fault. You're beautiful and educated and come from a well-to-do background. You know better. So whatever happens, I don't blame him. I blame you because you gave him the keys. Now, whether you gave him the keys because he was buying it out or to hold that is such a stupid story oh i gave him the keys you know it's going back to la to close and whatever and i needed a place to store okay. whatever to a man who doesn't want you no 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 i'm done i got things to do good luck i might do a part two and a part three because this story is hella stupid and it's ignorant it's child it's I don't need, I can't even, it's not even stupid. I don't even know what you call it. All right. Good luck, Jennifer. And I hope you learned a lesson. Probably won't, but, but you're going to learn something from Evelyn and Shani. I just, so this is part one. We're going we gonna to get to part two and part three because this ain't the end of it. But this is some juicy gossip. Okay, bye.